Hello, my friends. I am Pastor Doug, and it's my joy to visit with you today. Do you remember where you were on September 11, 2001? Most people do. I was working in my church office in Watsontown that day and went home to see from, for myself the horrors that I had heard about from church parishioners. I couldn't tear myself away as the images kept pouring in and they showed those towers collapsing over and over again. September 11th, 2021 marks the 20th anniversary of 9-11. It's this Saturday. On that day, 20 years ago, two planes crashed into the north and south towers of the World Trade Center. Two other planes also crashed that day, one into the Pentagon building and another one crashed in Pennsylvania instead of the intended target in Washington, D.C. Orchestrated by the Islamic extremist group Al-Qaeda, the attacks caused devastation in the United States. Think about it. Thousands of children lost a parent. People lost family members and close friends. And first responders were terribly affected as many lost their lives in an attempt of rescue. While the 20th anniversary of the 9-11 attack will call, recall painful memories, as well as heroic sacrifice of first responders and civilians who risked their lives to help others, we must remember. We must remember the lives lost and those who gave the ultimate sacrifice by charging into harm's way to help others. They gave the ultimate sacrifices. They gave of their own life because of their selfless concern for others. We must remember as hard as that can be. You know, I'll remember the outpouring of prayer that, that day and week. We had an impromptu prayer vigil at the Lutheran church in town, and the community turned out in mass. I'll remember that the tragic events not only crushed our hearts, but had more hearts turned to God in prayer than at any other time that I could recall. I'll remember worship attendants soaring as folks sought to make sense of this horror and to find comfort from God when nothing else would do. I'll remember the local first responders heading to New York City and how the brotherhood was impacted in every community around the nation. I'll remember the Red Cross um, blood drive being overwhelmed as there was a line of donors circling the building. I'll remember, and that's good. A few years ago, D and I visited the memorial for Flight 93 in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. We walked the hallowed ground. We learned about the persons on the flight who acted so br bravely. But you know what really touched me? Listening to the recordings of some of the final calls made to family. While they would be part of the nearly 3,000 lives lost that day, their actions spared many lives of the intended target in Washington, D.C. It was important for us to remember and reflect on the lives that had names and families and stories to be told. They had not died in vain. So how will you remember this 20th anniversary of 9-11? If you can, maybe you could donate blood and give the gift of life. Maybe you'll find a way to support your local first responders and thank them for always being prepared to charge into harm's way without hesitation. Or you could stop and offer a prayer. Prayer is not a last resort. Prayer is what our country needs right now more than anything else. Our nation, the United States of America, is who it is not because of our might and power, but because God has blessed America. It was not by their sword that they won the land, nor did their arm bring them victory. It was your right hand, your arm, and the light of your face, for you love them. Words from the psalmist, Psalm 43, 44, verse 3. We can all come before God 
and share our memories, our hurts, lift up our fallen heroes, and our hopes for healing and peace in a conflicted world. Please, this Saturday, take time to stop, to remember, and to pray. Do what works best for you, but remember the pain, the sacrifice, and the power of prayer. For in the end, our prayers will help us and others through this difficult day of remembering. Amen. A few things to share about some things that are coming up in the life of Wesley Church. Uh, we're, we're excited. We're beginning our fall Bible study this Sunday evening, and the study is entitled Invitation to John. We'll be meeting for 11 weeks, uh, Sunday evenings from 6.30 to 8 p.m. And if you'd be interested in participating, contact Jeff Miller. You can also see more details in our bulletin on Sunday. The trustee workday is coming up uh, on September 18th, uh, not this Saturday, but the Saturday coming. Please mark your calendar, and uh, we'd really appreciate your help. We're going to replace some windows in the garage, spruce up the ground for a community event the following week, and other projects that are on the trustees' to-do list. We'll begin at 8 a.m. Come help us give our building and grounds a much-needed facelift. We will be having a special church conference uh, meeting for the West United Methodist Church. It's going to be held on Tuesday, September 21st at 7 p.m. in the Fellowship Hall. The purpose of this special meeting will be to act upon the recommendation of our church council to conduct a combined annual and debt reduction campaign in the spring of 2022. And the last announcement, uh, we're uh, looking forward to our fall festival on September 25th. That day we'll have two parts. In the morning, there will be a vendor slash yard sale from nine to one. And then in the evening at five o'clock, we'll be gathering for a traditional potluck dinner. Hamburgers and hot dogs will be provided. There will also be games, activity, music, and much more. You won't want to miss this fun day at Wesley Church. Let's uh, close our time with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Oh God, our help and refuge, in our distress, we come quickly to you. The shock and horror of that tragic day have subsided, replaced now with an emptiness, a longing for an innocence lost. We remember those who lost lives in New York, Washington, D.C., and Pennsylvania. We are mindful of the sacrifice of public servants who demonstrated the greatest love of all by laying down their lives for friends. We commit their souls to your eternal care. We remember and we come in hope, not in ourselves, but in you. As the foundations we once thought were secure have been shaken, we are reminded of the illusion of security. In commemorating this tragedy, we give you thanks for your presence in our time of need, and we seek to worship you in spirit and in truth, our guide and our guardian. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. My friends, it, it really is good to do this each week, to stop and visit with you. We're all talking again soon. May the peace of God be with you. My friends, stay strong and please stay safe.